Welcome to another edition of 42 Straight Years In. On my crackhead update, I discussed this guy in previous videos. Uh, he served 26 years for a crime that he didn't commit and he was exonerated. And he's a millionaire now. He got a mansion. Uh, a lot of nice, expensive cars. He lives out in Forney. Well, anyway, he called me, and they was having a party at his mansion, so I went. And uh, most of the guys he deal with, uh, they've been exonerated also. They got an organization here in Dallas where they provide uh, support to each other. Trade business ideas, tax idea, uh, information. Well, anyway, Everybody just sitting around vibing, talking, and uh, this lady, she said, uh, who owned this house? So one of the chicks, one of the guys, old lady, she said, the guy right there, he's the owner. This is his house. So uh, she tells him, she said, uh, you know what this home need? You need a wife. He said, no, that's what I don't need. He said, uh, I suffered to get all this. He ain't tell about it. He spent 26 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. He didn't go off into detail. He said, no, I suffered, and I earned all this. He said, ain't no woman helped me do a damn thing, so I don't need no wife. She said, yeah, you need a wife. He said, no, I don't need a wife. He said, as a matter of fact, you can't tell me what the hell I need. He said, I live my life the way I want to live my life. So, conversation going smoothly. I can tell she didn't like his response. She got the flipping that other people's hair on her head because the damn sure ain't on her hers. And uh, she said, uh, I move in here, I'll remodel this whole house. He said, no, you ain't gonna never move in. He said, say, uh, we can end this conversation, man. Uh, I got me an old lady. Uh, she said, uh, I don't see her. Cause he was sitting there by himself. He, uh, she was over there talking to my old lady. That's her sister. So he called over. He said, here she is right here. Now she took to the racial turn. Oh, you swirling, huh? Then she went off into this bullshit. As soon as a black man make it, he got to go get him a white woman. That dude said, man, or... Uh, I deal with who I want to deal with. I don't tell you how to live your life. And she just kept going. She just wouldn't let it alone. She just kept going on and on. So he told her, he said, he said who invited this lady here? And uh, she came with uh, one of the other guys been exonerated. That was one of her friends. That was his old lady's friend. She said, I invited her. He said, well, you can take her out of here. Get her out of my house. So she stood up and said, I'm not going nowhere. Now, this is this man's house. You know, uh, Forney got some badass police, but he ain't, this dude don't want to put no law enforcement in his business. And uh, she said, no, I'm not going nowhere. He said, yeah, you're going one way or another. And I'm checking these guys out. Ain't nobody trying to intervene in this shit. When you've been exonerated in the state of Texas, when they give you that money, they tell you, if you get a felony, the money stops. But all they done gave you up to that point, you can have. That belongs to you. But you don't get no additional money. And this man get up. Plus he got his lump sum. And he get $11,400 per month. Every month is deposited in his bank account. I'm sitting there looking. I'm checking the other guys out. Damn, ain't nobody going to intervene. I don't like getting in other people's shit. So I can tell he getting pissed. This is his damn house, and you talking about you not gonna leave. So I, I stood, I said, say, man, come on, man. I swear to him, I said, say, man, you finna fuck everything up. Even though he got enough money to get out of jail and hire a lawyer and all that shit, but he gonna fuck his money up. And they might get pissed, pins on what he do to this woman, because he's a big dude. He can easily beat the hell out of it and throw off his property. He can easily do it. This woman wouldn't stand a damn chance as a man on the moon. Uh, but 
you don't know how they're going to look at it, charge with attempted murder, definitely going to have aggravated assault. Uh, and he'd been exonerated before. They might not even give him a chance to send, send him right on back to prison. And he's been out six years. They don't give a shit. So I say, hey, man, I put you say, hey, man, let that go, man. Let it go, man. We're going to get out of here, man. Let it go. Now, he get totally pissed. Finally, one of the females got up and started talking to her, calmed her down. Oh, she cursed him out, talking shit. Man, he want to beat this woman up so damn bad, man. She don't know his background. A woman is what lied on him and got him a life fucking sentence. That was a fucking woman did that. And that stinking ass bitch ain't never came forward yet to apologize to this man. No, she told a damn lie. The DNA proved she was lying. And uh, he finally, females got up and calmed her down. And she didn't have no way to leave his property because it's a gated community. The lady who brought her there, she had to leave also. Uh, to take her back home, take her some damn work to get him out of his property. But that's pitiful, man. How people just dry hate on you and want you to live your life through their eyes. You'd be a fucking robot. If all of us was the same, we'd be robots. We'd be stepping in union. Unison. Everybody is a robot. People gonna live their life through their eyes, whether it's right or wrong. And there's no decision wrong if you made that decision. That's the right decision. You made it, but everything got consequences. You just gonna have to deal with the consequences of your decision. Whatever decision you come up with, or, or action you take is going to be a reaction. And uh, we finished. I spent the night out there. I didn't feel like driving back to Dallas. I said, shit, I just spent the night. But we, other than that, we had a good time. That's my crackhead update. Y'all know what it is. Get your motherfucking shanks out. And let's get ready to ride. Uh... On this particular day, we had a guy come to the Ramsey unit and uh, this guy, uh, he was a rapist from Dallas. He had a life sentence. Now, I don't know where the hell Burr was. I think Burr had, a, had to go see the parole officer. So he wasn't in that office. He a lucky man, Bear wasn't in there because he'd got a, a hell of a ass hooking with that fly ass mouth he got. Uh, you know, shit was bad. I don't know how in the hell you could have been in, in the county jail and these guys talk about prison. These guys in that county jail been to every prison in Texas. And they can tell you name all the wardens, the majors, you know all this shit. And I know damn well you done heard about Cat. You can't be in a Texas prison, you don't know who Wildcat is or, or Billy McMillan or Savage or Bear Trap. I know damn well you done heard of these people. These the most vicious warden in the Texas prison. I know damn well you done heard about them. You might ain't never seen them or, or, or served any time at the prison that they run, but you done heard about these guys through the grapevine. Anyway, Place him in the chain room. You first get to Ramsey, you got to go inside the chain room. And the cat wasn't doing anything, so he asked me, said, how many come on the chain? I don't know why he asked me the dumbass question. The man know every fucking thing about Ramsey. He know every fucking thing going on. And uh, I said, we didn't get but one today. He said, well, go down to the chain room and get him and bring him on down here where I can interview him. So I go down to the chain room and uh, I tell you, come on, man. I get the turnkey to unlock the door, and I escort him on down to Cat's office. And uh, he get in Cat's office, he said, Cat said, uh, uh, what they call you? He said, my name is uh, Richard Browning from Dallas, Texas. He looked at his record, he said, oh, I see you got a life sentence for rape. He said, was that a white woman you raped? He said, yes, sir, that's a white woman. 
He said, I raped so many, I don't, I don't, he said, which one are you talking about? He said, the one you was convicted of, that's the one I want to know about. He said, yes, yes, sir, that was a white woman. He said, boy, let me explain to you what happened. He said, see, I, I, I sing with the Dallas Sympathy, Sympathy and, uh, in the opera in Dallas. So he made some kind of sound. Oh, 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 oh. I look at this son of a bitch. I say, man, look at this crazy son of a bitch. Boy, you work in that office, you're going to see all kind of shit come through that office. And anyway, cat looked at him crazy as hell making that sound. So he said, man, I was, uh, he said, I had this lady. I used to go, he said, I went and raped her. I go through the window. He said, she tell me, uh, she didn't pay me. She said, yeah, I, I leave the window open you, when you come back tomorrow night. He said, this particular night, he said, I was drunk as hell. So I went through the wrong damn window. He said, I went in there, I saw this lady laying there, big old fine ass up in the air. I said to myself, I got to have that fat ass. He said, so I told her, you better not scream. I'll kill your ass. You better not say nothing. He said, so uh, I hear her in her ass. He said, man, she sound like a herd of sheep. She was saying, bah! Then he said, oh, 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 oh. I said, God damn, what kind of dude is this? Cat said, you really fucked that woman? He said, yes, sir, I fucked her. He said, I was drunk. He said, I thought that was my regular victim because she, she, she be waiting on me every night. She would play sleep. And, uh, she liked to play at. She play sleep. She know exactly what I'm doing. He said, then she'd write me a check, cook for me, all that shit. And uh, he said, she didn't even tell the police that she was raped. So uh, he said, man, I was so drunk. After I got through, he said, I laid in the woman's bed and went to sleep. He said, when I woke up, Dallas police were whooping the shit out of me. He said, they whooped my ass all the way out through that apartment, downstairs, all the way in the car. Then I got to the police station, they typed the statement up, confession up, and say, sign it. He said, as I was signing, they were whooping my ass. He said, all I can say is, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he said, so I went to trial. I told him I want a jury trial. He said, they offered me 75 years to plead guilty. And I wouldn't plead guilty. He said, oh. when the woman took the stand, she was describing what happened to her. And I just looked at her and said, oh, 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 oh. The woman said, yeah, he got me, but he, he, he busted me open. He busted me open. She said, shit, I just wanted to just get one more shot at him. I know I'm going to get a live sentence. I already know that. So Cat said, well, you're going to like it here at Ramsey. He said, we feed you good, and you get a lot of exercise. He said, that's one damn thing you're going to get here is a a lot of exercise. He said, uh, we got all type of bands, all type of musical instruments, so you'll fit right in since you was an opera singer. He said, yeah, I can play all type of instruments. Oh, 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 oh. And the cat looking at him. Cat just start smiling. <laughs> He's looking at this fool. I'm sitting over there at my desk. I don't want to laugh. One thing I, I learned, cat is an unpredictable man. Just because I work in there, don't I ain't cool with him like Barry is. I, I can't do the kind of shit Barry can do. So when they leave out, I sometimes I have to go out in the hallway and I laugh like some but while he's in there, I never laugh. And uh, anyway, he said, uh, yeah, you're going to like it here. This is a good place to do a live sentence. He said, as long as you go to work, we don't bother you here. He said, now, you got to work. You have to deal with them inmates. I'm going to put you down on seven wing. They got some pretty bad boys down there on seven wing. You'll get a chance to meet them. And, uh, sure, I'm going to like it here. He said, I just wish I could get that woman one more time. I wouldn't care about doing this live sentence. He said, all right. You get out, y'all. Uh, we're going to sign you to seven wing, you know. And this camp boy here, he's going to escort you to seven wing and show you where it's at. And... We'll get you real comfortable and you'll be right at home. He said, all right, thank you, Ward. He went out in the hallway. I don't know, they don't allow no talking in the hallway at Ramsey. 
He made that fucked up ass opera shit. Oh, 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 the turnkey got right on his motherfucking ass. They got right on his ass. They ain't do no talking. No, they went to whooping his ass. And their favorite thing is, you better get. They mean go to the jailhouse. You near at that unit, you don't know where the hell the jailhouse is. It's right out in the hallway. You got to know where the hell it's at. And they going to whoop your ass until you figure out where it's at. They whooped him, got him down in the jailhouse. Now when a guy's in the jailhouse, I don't want got to go get their food. Some turnkeys and say, fuck you, we ain't feeding you shit. I would go down to the jailhouse and ask the dude, hey man, you going to eat? If he say yes, I go to the child, make him a tray, get him a pitcher, a tea, a punch, whatever they have, a spoon and fork, and I would take it to him. Anyway, I went down there, you know, feed him supper. Cat say, leave him in the jailhouse all night. No, don't take him out. Leave him in there all night. You know. So I took him his supper. He should say, man, you motherfucker whooped the goddamn shit out of me, man. I said, yeah, man, you made that fucking noise, man. You can't talk in the hallway over here. But they don't lie, no talking. She'll wait till you got the seven wing, and you can talk over there and make noise, and they, they ain't gonna bother you until 10 o'clock at night. They don't lie, no talking. Uh, that's the saga of the uh, opera singer. And that motherfucker is still in prison right today. He's still in prison. I just looked him up on the inmate search. He's still locked up all these fucking years. He's been locked up now 38 motherfucking years. He's still in there. No, 38, he's been locked up 41 years. Still locked up. Texas will leave your ass in prison until you die. They don't give a damn. They will let you die right in one of them prisons. They don't give a shit. Uh, Y'all support me over on Patreon. Keep your shanks ready. These motherfuckers is broke. They broke right now. They finna come up out of them motel, then they'll run out of that crazy shit. That shit is gone now. Dope man got all their money. So they out flying a sign. I already seen them. I, yesterday I seen them all standing around with signs. Standing at 7 Eleven paying him. I'll stay ready to ride on these fools at a moment's notice. Like and subscribe. And I thank you for watching.